Hello, everyone. The New York Television Festival kicks off its second decade of existence in a few hours. This event gives independent talent outside the TV field the chance to break in by creating pilots for possible series. More than 50 pilots we showcase for the public and programmers in the festival's top competition. And a fair number of them, believe it or not, were put together in Brooklyn or involved Brooklyn-based creators. Now, we're about to meet the creators and co-stars of one of those pilots, Dead John, which they describe as Seinfeld meets Twin Peaks. Now, the scene you're about to see takes place just after the two roommates discover a body in their Bedford Stuyvesant apartment. Let's take a look. John was murdered sometime last night. In fact, he was really murdered. No teeth left murdered. Fact, everyone knows we don't like him. Remember that text you sent him last night? Remember all the texts we've sent him? Take your dirty laundry out of the living room. This is your final warning. Clean your dishes or there will be consequences. I will murder you due to using my body wash. This is bad. We're going to be suspects. We're going to be the suspects. His dad already distrusts you because of your thing with his little sister. She's 18 and it was platonic. Then why was your shirt off? Well, what about the time you pushed him down the stairs? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have an alibi. Last night we were at the bar. Yes. No, nobody knows we were there. We didn't talk to anyone. Oh, God, our apartment's a crime scene and my semen's all over that place. Hold on. I got it. Perfect solution. Let's go to Kmart. That's your solution to everything. And the creators and co-stars of Dead John join us right now live on BK Live, Michael Borman and Lucas Stein. Welcome, gentlemen, to BK Live. Thank you for having, for having us. us. Michael, I understand that you have been wanting to do TV pods. In fact, you and your partner have been writing TV pods for a long time. But what made you decide this was the year you get involved in the festival? Um, well, we went to it last year, and there was a, a lot of good stuff. Uh, so we basically wrote something that we thought we could film. Uh, it starred us and our roommate, who's mostly just lying on the floor dead. Um, and it's in our apartment. So we just put something together that uh, we could do easily. And then it got a little bit bigger than we anticipated when we got uh, some of our friends involved and they were able to get a, a couple uh, investors. So that was, it was a lot of fun. And then, Luca, how long did it take to write the pilot? Why do this kind of mix of Seinfeld, Dead Body, Twin Peaks? Well, I think from the time we started writing it till the time we shot it was about a year, uh, writing it sort of off and on, doing a handful of drafts. Uh, the premise sort of came, as, as Bob says, sort of from necessity. We wanted to do something that was simple that, you know, we could actually put together. Uh, but it was also based in part on John, who is our third roommate, He's we've, the dead guy, right? He's the dead guy. We've known him for eight years, and he's still sort of mysterious to us. It, it seems like he's always going home to New Jersey. He's always not in the apartment. So we started wondering what sort of secret life he might have. And in this show, when he turns up dead, we're initially shocked because we thought he was just like us. As it goes on, we realize he had this whole secret life surrounding his eventual murder. Yeah. So, Michael, how long did it take to put the pilot together? And because you did it in your apartment building, did you get the landlord or did you get your fellow tenants involved? Uh, actually, our landlord, Devon, was uh, very supportive. Um, I As don't in know, the moolah, he, maybe, like, yeah, putting well, his he, uh, investment in? We asked him about it, and I think he was expecting about, like, three guys, one with, like, a boom mic and one with a camera, and uh, it was a lot bigger than that. So he uh, he got a little bit frustrated towards the end, but he was a really good sport about it. Um, in, our, in our defense, we didn't even realize how big it was going to be until the night before we started looking at the call sheet and the two of us saying, there's 25 people on here. We don't know what any of them do or why they're coming to our apartment. But. So what do you think about the fact that this week, not only is the public going to see your coming out in television, but also key people who produce shows, key people who green light shows, key networks like an AMC or an HBO or an NBC that may love the show so much, they take you on and say, OK, develop this pilot into a series. Well, that's a very exciting prospect, um, and hopefully something along those lines will happen. But I think we're also happy enough just to have produced something that will be seen by a wide audience, which is not always easy to do. Sometimes you write things and they stay in the drawer forever. And I understand, Michael, this is not the only television festival that you're putting this pilot in. People here in New York will see uh, your entry starting on Thursday. But I understand you may have another festival or two that you're going to try to uh, be involved with. Um, uh, yeah, we were actually just up in a festi festival in Vermont, the ITV Festival. Which was originally Los Angeles, it which was, came out was. of the success that this festival has had for over a decade. Yes, and I believe we're submitting to another in L.A. 
Um, yeah, more and more festivals are accepting pilots, which wasn't the case even a couple years ago. So let's say, Luca, that this becomes a series. How do you and your partner develop the show? Do you keep it in Brooklyn? How do you make the mystery sort of last more than one episode? Well, uh, we've, in the first episode, we introduce a, f a handful of suspicious characters, and we have ideas for future episodes that would continue to just blow this story that surrounds John out farther and farther. Um, we mentioned Twin Peaks. That was sort of an inspiration of just populating the world with a lot of odd characters and having stories grow out of them. I think we would keep it in Brooklyn, though. There's a few jokes in the series already that are sort of Brooklyn-based, things about the A train. And by the way, both of you did not come originally from Brooklyn. You came from different places, right? And yeah. uh, what made you decide to make Brooklyn your home? Um, I'm from New Jersey originally, and uh, we went to college together at NYU, and then we uh, both decided to, to move to Brooklyn after graduation. So we've been there for about four and a half years, mm -hmm. and we've loved it, been in the same apartment, which is the apartment in the series. Um, and, yeah, we have uh, no desire to leave. So if this pick gets picked up, who would you like to have produced the show with you? I and mean, is there a favorite inspiration in terms of a director, producer, showrunner that you would like to see be involved with your program? Uh, well, we, we love our current director, actually, he, um, David Sidoroff. Uh, let's see, anyone famous that you know of? Um, you know, we, we've thought of, of actors mm -hmm. who we think could play certain okay, roles. Okay, so who could, uh, who's the ideal person? Uh, this is a, you, it's someone whose face is probably more recognizable than the name, but uh, the actor Sam McMurray we think would be great for John. From the Tracy Ullman show. He yes. Was, uh, he was one of the uh, cast members of that show. I believe so, yeah. So if he's watching. No. He, yep. We think that he would be great as John's father, the sort of illustrious senator from the state of New York. Mm -hmm. What do you hope a festival like this will do for creators like yourselves? What, what is having a festival where you get the chance to have your work being shown by both the public and being seen by the key people who make a TV show happen? Mm -hmm. um, we've already seen this incredible boom in scripted television. What do you hope that people get out of the festival? Um, I guess our immediate goal is to... Uh, get someone interested enough where we can leave our day jobs. That's really goal number one. Um, but no, it's mostly about just exposure and people actually seeing our work. Uh, normally we write pilots, specs, and they're just kind of, yeah, they're only on our computer. And, and on that it. note, by the way, we're going to have to leave it there. Michael Borman, Lucas Stein, congratulations on getting your first pilot into the festival. Starts screening to the public and uh, everyone else on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. And you can learn more about the New York Television Festival, all the pilots on display there, and ticket information from www.nytvf.com. It's www.nytvf.com. Among the opening night activities, a screening of Manhattan, WGN America's Emmy-winning original drama, which launched its second season last Tuesday. Creator executive producer Sam Show will be there, but first he'll join me later on today on Tomorrow Be Televised, 3 p.m. Eastern on blogtalkradio.com. Oh, oh.